Long gone are the days of watching Adam West call for bat shark repellent from his perch on a rope ladder as he dangles above a bunch of rubber sharks. Today's comic book movies have gotten a whole lot bloodier, grittier, and more nihilistic. While parents are kinda pissed that they can't exactly watch Daredevil with their five-year-old around, fans of these comics were pretty stoked to see their favorite graphic novels get super dark films and TV shows. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham, and here's a list of the top five grittiest comic book adaptations. Number five, Sin City. The full-scale noir in this movie is enough to put Sin City on this list on its own. It looks like a German expressionist film had a baby with a scanner darkly. Besides the black and white silent film feel, the pops of red and yellow that appear throughout stay completely true to the graphic novel's original design. And if you like super messed up movies, this one has it all. Murder, torture, decapitation, rape, dismemberment. It's also pretty impossible to forget that scene where Marv slices Kevin into pieces and feeds him to his pet wolf. That's actually like a pretty badass way to die though if you think about it, like if you're a stalker serial killer guy. Number four, Watchmen. The only thing missing from the graphic novel was hearing the sound of the comedian being thrown around his apartment with Nat King Cole playing in the background. The punches and slices in the very first scene are enough to make your mom say, this is a terrible movie, and walk out of your living room, but it only gets darker from there. And, and down here. here. From watching Rorschach discover the bones of a kidnapped little girl being chewed on by Grice's dogs, to the comedian murdering his pregnant side chick in Vietnam, Watchmen is satisfyingly dark and true to the graphic novel, minus the lack of nuclear space squids. Number three, Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass was one of those movies for me where I didn't read the comic before I saw the movie and was super surprised by how violent it was. I remember watching the trailer in college thinking, oh cool, it's gonna be like a funny superhero movie, but it definitely wasn't just funny. While the jokes hit hard in some places, so did Hit Girl's butterfly knife. <laughs> Kick-Ass has no illusions about vigilanteism. It's grueling and suicidal work. As much as we all secretly want to don a mask and take on the mob, Kick-Ass shows us that would definitely get us killed immediately. That is, unless we have plot armor. Because, hey, this is still supposed to be wish fulfillment, right? Number two, The Dark Knight. Fun fact, I asked one of my friends if she wanted to come see The Dark Knight with me back in 2008, and she actually thought it was going to be a period piece. Nope. The Dark Knight basically set the bar for any and all future Batman Joker adaptations. Heath Ledger's Joker was so depraved and psychotic that the entire film soundtrack was based around the crescendo of his ever-increasing reign of terror on Gotham. Hans Zimmer actually used razor blades to play string instruments in order to create that tortured, twisted hum that plays whenever the Joker is in action. Besides all the brutal fight scenes, the darkest part about this movie was really just the Joker's apathy towards normalcy. Side note, DC kind of proved Harvey Dent's point where you either die a hero or live long enough to greenlight Suicide Squad. Number one, Jessica Jones. True to the comics, Jessica Jones throws a client through the glass window of her office door in the very first scene, and it doesn't stop there. This series features fun and exciting violence themes like murder, torture, rape, suicide. <coughs> Jessica's adoptive mother makes Kris Jenner look like a sweet baby angel, and David Tennant's hypnotic and twisted Kilgrave is exactly the kind of creep you'd get if you gave Reddit's the red pill superpowers. Ew. It also helps the whole dark and gritty vibe that Jessica Jones's day job is working as a detective. It's kind of like watching an episode of Law & Order SVU, but like if Olivia Benson had super strength and Mel Gibson's drinking problem. That's it for our list of the five darkest, grittiest comic book adaptations. I want to know what your favorite gritty adaptation is in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I mean, I know you have nothing better to do. Jessica Jones season two doesn't even come out till like 2018.